What's up guys? Today we're going to show you how to build a DIY lithium bank. This is a 32 amp hour headway bank. This is a really cheap and easy way to get a lot of lithium power into your system and you can do it yourself for not very much money at all. Let's get into it. Okay, now that we have everything in individual pieces here, we'll show you everything that you need to do this. All you need to build this exact bank is 16 headway cells. These are 8 amp hour 3.2 volt cells. These are used cells from Battery Hookup. I think they're about $9 a piece. And we have a simple set of homemade bus bars right here. Uh, this is a slightly different configuration than what you may see a lot of them because we're trying to get positive and negative both out one side. But it doesn't matter the orientation or the layout as long as you get the configuration correct. And what I mean by that is if you'll see, we have all of the negative here, then it switches to positive, negative, positive. So these are essentially going to go like this in the bank to make a 4S, 4P bank. That's four in series and four in parallel. So we have a 32 amp hour, 12.8 volt nominal bank. Most so, of the time what you'll see is people running straight lines of four uh, we're going to do squared clusters of 4 to get our 4P, but it still remains a 4S, 4P. All right, we have the hardware over here that we're going to need. I use flat washers and locking washers on every single bolt. That way there's no chance of it ever coming apart on its own. We have a simple $10 balancer over here from eBay with some connectors uh, crimped on here. And uh, let's get to building this real quick. I'll explain some things along the way, but you'll see how simple this process is and how easily it can be done. There's no reason to run these big old chunky batteries anymore. We've got lithium. So the very first thing we're going to do here is I'm going to explain this balancer a little bit. Being that there is four different cells in this battery, it is 4S, you need this balancer to balance the series sets. Okay, here we have all of the wires with their connections on. And you can see on this plug there's five of them. The black is obviously your negative. And then the green, yellow, white, and red need to go to each consecutive set of batteries in order. So let's put you guys over here and I'll start assembling the negative side. And we'll show you how the balancer goes on when we get there. So let's begin assembly here. We're going to begin with the negative side of the battery. It's going to be this bar right here. Now I already have it taped right here because this was previously assembled and I've taken it back apart to show you guys how easy this is. Now when you put the balancer on here, sometimes you can put it on afterwards in most of the aftermarket bars you can. I like to put it on the inside of the bank so you can't see anything. So we're going to have to do that first. Being the negative side, we're going to get our black lead on the balancer. And we're going to put that on the underside of this bar here. So we'll screw this guy down. All right, and there's our negative for the balancer. Now we can begin putting the cells on the negative side. Um, being that I have a bunch of washers and everything on it, I use two different length hardwares for positive and negative. There is longer on the positive side because the negative on the cells has a shallower hole than the positive side. So we're going to use the short hardware for the negative side. All right, so flip this bar the right way with this going to the inside, and we're going to start putting our negative poles on. And there is one P, one parallel unit of four cells. This is a 32 amp hour, 3.2 volt cell. And you take four of these cells, put them in series, that gives you your 12.8 volt battery. So let's move on to the next step, which is going to be your first series connection. Once again, the balancer needs to go on the bottom of this bar. So if we're having this here, we need to put the balancer on this side and flip it over under. All right, and which wire is going to go to this? The one that's right after the black on the lead, which is green. Now 
Now we can get our longer hardware and install this bar onto the cells. For that we're going to have to make our second set, which is flip this here and start putting the cells in their first series connection. So here we have negative to positive. So then we're going to need negative to positive. So this is going to be our negative side again with the short screw. Bam. Now we have a 2S. And we'll just continue the same trend we have going. This one now is going to take this crossbar in the back. We're going to flip this upside down, figure out the next one in line, which is our yellow on the balancer. So we're going to find our yellow lead. And we're going to put that on the underside of this back bar. Then we'll put this guy on here. Like so. Longer hardware because it's the positive side again. Okay. Now we'll continue. This is negative to positive. Negative to positive. So we need here another negative. Okay, 3S, we're going to flip this over, we have our next long bar connection, which is going to go just like that, we need our next connection on the balancer, which is going to be our white, we're going to put our white on the underside of this bar, All right, that's that completed. Now let's add our positives. So we have a negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. So we need negative and then end up at the positive pole. All right, short screws again, because it's in the negative side. Come down here. I'm gonna figure out where this balancer needs to go first is actually going to go through the bank and out the back side. So just kind of tuck that through there. Okay. Now let's put the last row of cells in to make it for us. Okay, and the only one left is our positive connection, which is the red wire. So we're going to put that on the underside of our positive bar. Screw that in. Let me tuck this back in here and lay this guy on top. And that is that. Now we have a completed 32 amp hour headway bank. This is a 4S, negative to positive, negative to positive, negative to positive, negative to positive. 4S, last step is plugging in this little balancer to make sure all the cells are gonna remain even, and they are, since this was a previously balanced bank. And this I just lay on top. Last step you're going to want to do is just make sure all these are tight. So go around everyone and give it a little, a little lockdown to make sure this stays on there. It doesn't go anywhere. And 
and that is our completed unit. All right, now to show you guys what we've done. We got the meter here. All right, so this is our first stack of four 3.2 volt cells. If we touch this here, we get 3.47. That is one cell. If we combine the first two cells, touch here, 6.95 volts. That's two cells. Then we move to the next one, 3S. Touch down here, 10.44 volts. All right, and then we touch the very last one, 13.93. That is our completed, charged, ready to install battery. And I would recommend putting these in something. This is just a crudely built wooden box. It's very snug fitting. So we're going to just take this battery and set it right on in there. And this will just slide down in there. Like a glove. All right, so then we just put our top on and she is ready to go. Ready to install in the vehicle. And this is our assembled unit. Right, and how this is gonna go in the vehicle is very simple. There's no isolator required. These batteries will work perfectly fine, just paralleled right to a lead battery. There will be a small float draw, but it's negligible. So this just slides into place. Let's throw our negative on. That ain't going anywhere. Let's unwrap our positive. Always tape up your positives when you're not using them. This is still hooked to the batteries. Here, I'm going to actually run this wire through the ground like that. Yeah, wire routing. Okay, now we can hook this up. And as simple as that. You've just added three and a half massive AGMs worth of power in this tiny seven inch by seven inch cube and you did it yourself for a couple hundred bucks. All right guys, well that was your DIY tutorial today on how to easily build a headway bank. Very simple, very inexpensive, huge power. Stay tuned for next time where we're gonna custom build some bus bars for this 17 amp hour Lishan 8.5 bank. Well, thanks for watching guys and anytime you see your voltage dropping, just ask yourself, you got lithium?